All right, 9.2. 9.2 reads, in an experiment to compare two diets for fattening beef steers, nine pairs of animals were chosen from the herd. Members of each pair were matched as closely as possible with respect to hereditary factors. The members of each pair were randomly allocated, one to each diet. The following table shows the weight gains of the uh, animals over a 140-day test period on diet 1 and diet 2. And then it gives off uh, each of the pairs and then the observed difference. Okay, The only numbers we really need to know are um, is that in the difference column. Because of this uh, pair design, we're not really interested in what's happening in diet 1 or diet 2, but just the difference. And really, all we need to know is that n is equal to 9, that the mean difference, so d bar, is equal to 22.9, meaning that those in diet um, diet 1 uh, weighed on average 22.9 higher than those in diet 2, and the standard deviation of the difference is 59.3. Okay, it says calculate the standard error uh, of the mean difference. So the standard error of the difference is going to be the standard deviation of the difference divided by the square root of n. So in this case, we've got 59.3 divided by the square root of 9. So 59.3 divided by 7, or not 7, divided by 3 is equal to, uh, this is almost uh, 60 divided by 3, so 19 point, um, Seven, I think something around there. Okay. B asks uh, test for a difference between the diets using a paired test with alpha equal t ten. Use a non-directional alternative. So the non-directional alternative. Uh, let me get to it in a second. So here our null hypothesis is that the mean difference is equal to zero, and the alternative. Non-directional means we're not saying diet 1 is better than diet 2 or anything like that. We're just going to say not equal to 0, non-directional. We don't know beforehand if one is better than the other. So in this case, um, our t statistic is going to be um, the mean difference, minus 0, divided by the standard error of the difference. So in this case, the mean difference is 22.9 divided by the standard error of the difference, 19.7, and that gives us a t statistic of 1.158. Okay, and here our t statistic has how many degrees of freedom? n minus 1, so that's 9 minus 1 is 8, so we have 8 degrees of freedom, and so we want to look for 1.158 in our t table with 8 degrees of freedom. So if we look up 8 degrees of freedom, we see that it's in between um, uh, 0 0.2 and 0 0.10. So our upper tail probability is in between 0.20 and 0.10. So our p-value, okay, because uh, it's non-directional, this means our p-value is has two tails. So we have to double our upper tail probability. So our p-value is going to be 0 0.40 between 0 0.40 and 0 0.20. So we do not have, both of these are greater than alpha. Alpha is equal to 10.10%. And so um, here uh, we do not have enough evidence, so we do not reject the null hypothesis. OK. C says create a 90% confidence interval. All right, so our 90% confidence interval is centered around d bar plus or minus uh, a t, t value multiplied by the standard error of the difference. So in this case, our t value for a 90% confidence interval with 8 degrees of freedom, 90% confidence interval, 8 degrees of freedom is going to be 1.833. Okay, our standard error is from before, 19.7. And our d bar value is given to us, 22.9. That's from the table. And so we get a 90% confidence interval. Uh, if we com 
punch all of this out, on the lower end we get negative 13.9 and on the upper end we get 59.7. Okay, so D says we are 90% an interpretation for the confidence interval says we are 90% confident that the, uh, the average steer um, uh, the average steer gains between uh, 59.7 pounds or a lot uh, loses 13.9 uh, pounds on diet one over diet two. Okay, I hope, uh, hope you can see that. Uh, and of course on a 140 day uh, measurement period. Okay, it's 9.2.